Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. Welcome to the Crypto Miner Bros YouTube channel. This is a specific how to video on how to set up a gold shell AL box. This is an Alethium ASIC miner. And so I'm just gonna go through what is needed, how to set it up, and that's it. Okay, so very simple video today. Links down below to the gold shell AL box if you are interested in this miner. And use coupon code REDPANDA for $50 off if you decide to order one. Okay, let's get started. So this is the gold shell AL box, just to show you guys here. So this little miner here mines a lithium at 360 giga hash at about 160 to 180 watts I will show you guys the power consumption at the wall here so we can run this on either 120 volt or 240 volt because the power needed for this gold shell AL box is pretty much under 200 watts but it also depends on what type of power supply you are going to run this thing so it does not come with a PSU and so in this regard there are two different power supplies methods that we could use here. So one, I have an HP server PSU with a breakout board and PCIe cables from the veteranminer.com. I prefer this way myself, but an alternative is a typical ATX power supply with you know two PCIe cables. And of course you're gonna have to jump the 24 pin in order to turn on the ATX PSU. But for this demonstration today, I will be showing it with an HP server PSU with the parallel miner breakout board and veteran miner cables. So go to veteranminer.com if you're interested in very nice thick gauge PCIe cables as well as parallelminer.com for this type of power supply setup. As well, you are gonna need a ethernet cable to initially set it up, but otherwise this unit does have wireless as well, Wi-Fi. So you can wirelessly mine a lithium with one of these gold shell AL boxes, but of course the only thing to plug in you would need is the power, the two PCIe cables right here. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in the power supply. I'm going to be plugging in the 750 watt HP server PSU with a Paolo Miner X11 breakout board and two six pin to six pin PCIe cables from the veteran miner Com. So first things first is to plug in the PCIe cables, okay, and this is with the power supply already not plugged in, okay, we're going to plug in the Ethernet cable, internet cable right after this, okay, so we're going to hardwire internet, but we will eventually do Wi-Fi on this, okay, so it's plugged in like that. Now we are going to plug in the HP server PSU. So I'm going to be plugging this into 120 volt because like I said, North American power. Normally a 15 amp plug like this can handle up to about, what, 1400 watts, but I wouldn't obviously run 1400 watts. That's about the 80% rule on a plug like this. But with a unit like the Gold Shell AL box, it should run just fine because it's under 200 watts usage. So running a plug on this is totally fine. Also the alternative is uh, 240 volt, but in this demonstration I'll show 120. So let me get a power cable. This is the power cable that's needed. So this side goes into the HP server PSU on the back, and then this end goes into the power plug in the wall, like so. Okay, and as well, that's already in the PSU just like that. Okay, now it's time to turn it on. Here we go. So there's a button here to turn on the breakout board. Make sure the cables are all plugged in. Triple check everything is plugged in before you turn on the miner. Okay, here we go. So three, two, one. Okay, that's on. There you go. So with one of these box miners, since they are pretty much low power, I would advise to obviously mine this in a place where it's a cooler environment and not in an environment which is hot or you have other crypto miners. I think these are mainly meant mining somewhere up in your house in a singular room, living room or something like that and not in a hot place because this is going to generally, you know, pump out a, a decent amount of heat. But anyways, this thing's turning on now. So the next step is to configure the mining pool and get it mining a lithium. So I'll see you guys in the computer. You're gonna need to find the IP address of this device so that we can log into the web GUI. Okay, so we are now on the main Windows computer. Just to 
get the IP address and log into the AL box. So I'm using a freeware software called Advanced IP Scanner to get the IP address. You can use a program like this, or if you're comfortable, log into your home router to get the IP address, okay? But otherwise, once you have the IP address, you wanna plop that into the address bar in Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, and then you're gonna to get to the home page of the AL box, like you guys can see here. Okay, so next step, before we even set up the mining pool, put your worker name, all that kind of stuff, we wanna make sure we have the latest firmware. So with Gold Shell, they actually have a new firmware that just came out for the AL box. So you wanna to go to the github.com on Gold Shell Miner and uh, you wanna download the latest version here, the Gold Shell AL box 2.2.4. You wanna download the raw file, save it in your downloads folder. Once that's done, go back to the Gold Shell web GUI here. You wanna to go to system tab. We're gonna scroll down to update, okay, firmware version. We're gonna click on the file that we just downloaded for the AL box like this, press open, and then you're gonna hit update. Now, I've personally already done this, so I don't need to show you, or it doesn't need to do it here, uh, but otherwise, it would take about five to eight, 10 minutes for it to upgrade. So uh, make sure you don't shut it down while you are firmware updating or else it will brick, okay? Or f be frozen and you won't be able to go back in. So just be mindful of that. Firmware updating is important to be, have a bit of fixes and also support for other Alethium mining pools, which there are a bunch of them. And uh, I did test now, it does work on Hero Miners, but also DX pool as well, okay? So next step, okay, before we put in our worker name and which pool that we're gonna mine to, which is gonna be a DX pool, I'm just gonna show you guys an example here. You'll wanna download a wallet. You need an Alethium wallet. So where can you get that? Well, alethium.org is the website for Alethium, the, the coin. And so we're gonna go to Essentials, go to Wallets. And so you guys are gonna, I'm not gonna show you how to use these, but this is where you can download the wallet to get your receiving address to receive the Alethium. Okay, there's the mobile wallet, extension wallet, web wallet, or the desktop wallet. I prefer the desktop wallet or mobile wallet if you had a separate phone that's separated from your day-to-day. Mobile wallet is also the way to go. So once you have your receiving address, then you want to go back to your gold shell miner. Now we are going to set this up to mine to a mining pool. Okay, so we're going to go uh, at the top here. It says unlock. So when you want to click that top right. Password is going to be the stock password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you're going to hit unlock. Then we're going to add. Okay, pool settings. This is where we're going to add the pool. Okay, so URL, miner name, password, three different things that we're gonna need. So again, there are many different mining pools, but we're gonna, this demonstration, I'm showing you guys DX pool. Okay, so DX pool, <clears throat> you wanna go to dxpool.com, we're gonna go to Alethium. So for quick start, uh, we're just gonna go to tutorial for Alethium here. And then we need the mining pool server address, okay? So the address, if you scroll down, it will say right here, alf.ss.dxpool.com. So we're gonna go back to the gold shell miner. You're gonna copy that, right? And then you're gonna paste that into here for the URL. Now, miner name is gonna be your receiving wallet address that you got from your wallet, okay? You're gonna pop that into here, okay? So I have mine right here, put that in like that. Then worker name, you can also put a period to distinguish the worker name. So I'll just call it AL box. Password, we just do one, two, three, and then you're gonna hit apply. So there you go. It's gonna be applied here and it should go green and start mining away now to dxpool.com. And that's it. That's how you get started into mining a lithium with your gold shell AL box. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, for all you guys and it will show up on the mining pool. So thank you to CryptoMinerBros.com for this how-to. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And so this concludes the how-to video, how to set up a gold shell AL box, a lithium miner. Yep, it's humming away. And the power consumption at 120 volts here, 178 watts. Okay, you guys can see the power consumption there. So pretty low power, little ASIC miner that's decently profitable at this point. There are risks into buying this, but you have to do your own research and see all of that stuff, the network hash rate, uh, the yield, how many different miners of these coming out. 
you know, there's always risks when it comes to in buying one of these things. So make sure you do your own research. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.